Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I have a brand new custom ROM for you guys. It's for the Galaxy J7 Double OH. Uh, the custom ROM it's called Alpha Centauri Pixel, or either it's called it's like just like a Pixel Experience Google ROM, but it's called Alpha Centauri, something like that. Uh, it's for the Galaxy J7 Double OH, Double OF, and Double OM. These three models, and it's a stable custom ROM, and it doesn't have any bugs, and that's the best thing. Uh, it's way better than Lineage OS 14.1. One, I would say uh, it, it is completely stock except it has a few additional Samsung stuffs because our like the mobile is made by Samsung and that's why so let's get right into it shall we so let's get right into the installation process first thing first you have to download the custom ROM I have a link in the description uh, it's a link from the XDA because they have much more details over there uh, you can also I will also give a link that's a direct download link and if you have any questions please drop them down in the comments below and I'll reply them if possible uh, anyway uh, the first thing you install the custom ROM send it to your memory card uh, known as SD card in your mobile and then uh, put to your recovery all right so guys now uh, if you want to boot to the recovery i can just click restart and select recovery and just go back to the recovery because i'm using the custom rom i've been using it for two days so yeah okay the next thing you want to do is back up your uh, store like the backup the stock rom or like any of the custom rom that you're using uh, it just select backup and then select your storage as memory card and just swipe it for backing it up i've already backed up my files over here so no worries about that so the next thing is you select install and you select micro sd card and then select the folder that you downloaded your custom rom in and i downloaded it in here just select the custom rom and swipe and just wait for a while And then this one will come over here, the developer uh, Jonas S. Parcha. Just click next. I agree with the terms. Next, next. Uh, do a save form format, but I won't do that because I have already done it. Uh, so I, I'll just select backup uh, and then select next. It's better if you save format, then you'll use up the stock ROM as a brand new uh, ROM, you know, just like that. Uh, over here, I, you there is no other model, so just select this and then I selected the Pixel 2 UI. I feel like it's much more smoother and it's much more modern, that's why. And then over here, you can choose what kind of uh, the coloring do you want for your notification header. Over here, we have AMOLED system UI, white system UI, or AOSP system UI. I want the AMOLED, I want it to be completely black, saves battery and all that. Uh, over here, you can just select your font style, whichever you want. Uh, I like the Google font, um, it's a bit of Rabio kind of font and it looks very good over here select all of the mods because they are very important while you uh, use them uh, and then over here don't uh, unselect any of them it's very important because this uh, galaxy store is important for the galaxy themes and Samsung account is important for just uh, keeping the mobile in service with the applications and all that and Samsung cloud is just important which I guess because but it's Im but it's useless because uh, you already have if you have already have Google Drive and if you use those after that just select next and over here yeah this they ask you to select your camera and the photos application so it's better if you choose Samsung because uh, you will have a Samsung stock camera ish kind of application rather than a Google camera which is like it doesn't have much features and all that and then after that just select next. And after that, they'll ask you whether you want to change your logo or not. Over here, I don't want. I if you don't want, just select don't change my booth logo. But if you want to change your logo, just select uh, Alpha Century Black V2 White One. There are there are four different designs that you can choose here from. Uh, the next thing is over here. Uh, whether you want to root your device or not, it's better if it's rooted, I guess, because you have many more features. Um, that you can include over here we have two routes uh, either super su or magisk i so uh, i was using magisk and it's it's not important it's it doesn't work to be honest so it's like useless it's better if you choose super su uh, i'll suggest that and after that just select uh next and then the what do you call it? the custom rom will be installed automatically and after that you can just select reboot to your system and that's it I don't want to click next because I don't want all of my system files to be deleted and all of that. So yeah, 
I'll just go back and I will just get out of this option but there are no errors no bugs no worries guys uh, I hope after that they'll ask you to reboot the system after the installation is done same like this and then you can just wipe the cache and reboot your system it's that simple after rebooting the first reboot will take up around 5 to 10 minutes depending um, on what are the options that you have chosen and so this is the booting or like what you call the logos that are going on after it have boot for the first time you will have the quick setup and all of that i don't have that because i have already done that setup but if you don't format and if you select backup efs um, it will take you back to your uh, settings of your previous rom whether it was stock rom or whether it was any other custom rom so yeah if you want you can just do the backup EF efs so that you don't have to go through the hassle of the what do you call uh, quick setup and all that okay guys so the mobile have rebooted right now uh, so like I have I have done some settings over here uh, this is the part where I'll show you the features of this custom ROM and it has a lot of features um, a ton of features so first thing first let's go to settings and let's see from there uh, first thing we have the normal settings but over here the main thing is the device management which is a extra bonus for us uh, because this custom ROM is based on Galaxy A5 or A7 2017 uh, so like it has few of those applications or like few of those settings so over here I have uh, battery usage and we have storage we have the memory space um, which is at around I have a, at around 231 MB uh, like of RAM free and uh, in the storage I have around 8.6 GB out of 60 means like around 7.4 GB free uh, which is going to be after you download all of the applications it's going to be around 8 GB maximum how much I have seen but if you download much more applications depending on that uh, it will change so advanced features we have here is the one-handed mode which one is to decrease the home screen do not choose gesture because gesture doesn't work quite easily if you just choose button uh, I can just press three times and it just becomes smaller so this is way better um, yeah and then just select three times and that's it okay next thing is multi window just like the lineage OS if you have seen my previous videos uh, I'll have it somewhere here in the i card somewhere here uh, somewhere here in the i card uh, so like to 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 go to multi window you can just for example i can choose application uh let's choose play store and then just hold it and then it just goes into the multi window what do you call system or whatever and then you can select here and you can just switch it if you want to uh the one that you want to keep it in up and down whichever uh by the way this rom is way smoother and way better uh, overall because of such applications over here we don't have the Samsung calculator instead we have the Google calculator oh, multi window all right and then instead of all of the Samsung applications we have a Google's uh, what do you call alternatives so for example for messages we have Google messages and all of them are at around how much the hundred sorry hundred kilobytes or something like that it depends around that much size uh, for example here this is the clock and it's uh, only 236 kilobyte and that's quite low storage for uh, what you call a basic application uh, in that sense it's way more smoother but uh, more about that smooth or the fasting and all of this in my I'll, I'll upload it later on in my review video so you guys can check it out later on so subscribe and turn on notifications uh, just subscribe and you'll get notified automatically uh, however uh, I haven't found any bugs yet I have tried my best to just like you know mess up all the system and all that I haven't find found any bugs uh, one thing I don't like is this uh, my files app it's it's not my files it's instead a file manager by another uh, by it's a cyanogen mode file manager so like eh, it's not that good it's okay it's uh, acceptable but um, another thing i have issues with the custom roms are the cameras i hate the custom rom cameras uh okay okay i hate the custom cameras just because they don't have much options and we don't get um, 
like many of the options to play with over here i have the normal 13 30 megapixel and 5 megapixel back camera grid line location tags and storage uh, by the way this watch control doesn't work and the floating camera button works uh, another thing is we have few options here which is the auto pro uh, in pro we don't get much options we just get the white balance the iso and the exposure just like the normal thing and then the metering also uh, and another thing we have is the panorama the continuous shot the hdr and the, and yeah the night mode it doesn't work it just brightens up or like hold the image overall uh, it's not that important i would say like it's completely useless according to me because it doesn't do any 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 changes and this is the floating camera button while after i select the what you call floating button from the settings uh, another thing for the selfie cameras you only have four options just like this uh, uh, auto a wide angle and a night mode uh, and a continuous shot for the selfie uh, just basic whatever uh, but there are not much features over here uh, I have downloaded many applications but the, there are no bloats over here because overall it's a stock custom ROM but you have the Google assistant separately done and I faced the issue in this two days span while I was using the custom ROM is uh, it doesn't like it doesn't work with the ok google the hot word it doesn't like you know open up quickly or whenever i want it to open up so if you guys do some results from a search oh that scared me so much oh my god that scared me so bad oh okay whatever uh the google assistant doesn't work like you saw it took a lot of time but normally it doesn't work like this uh for example if i just say hey google okay it, it works right now but when i use multiple things it doesn't work that way if you guys use google assistant quite often then uh, i think you guys might find this one interesting or like you might find it having an issue however uh i the normal theme or for example let's go to the galaxy theme store i've changed the theme because i want it to be a bit more darker like i want like completely black amulet and all of the settings so i downloaded the high contrast uh, theme from the theme store and for that you need the samsung like you know all of those four options that i showed you during the custom installation and the basic theme is just like it's completely it's, it's it's just the same thing except it's white uh all right like there's no changes however um what else are there oh yes another thing uh in the settings uh, by the way this custom rom is of android 7.0 and it's Android 7.0 as you can see here and it has a different model number it has the Galaxy J7 00 FD as the model number so whenever you're using a Bluetooth or any other application just remember about this number and over here in the device name you will have another number like Galaxy J7 00 F instead of the Galaxy J7 00 H uh, because this custom ROM has been edited on a Galaxy J7 00 F uh, by the way, you don't receive any software update, obviously, but you will receive a software update from what do you call it? Alpha Centauri, the group, and all of them. Uh, they haven't updated since the 28th in February. That's another issue. Like, um, but still, it's under development. Well, there are no much uh, extra features. For example, not there's no edge panel on that because it's supposed to be a stock ROM in that sense. Uh, but you have these home settings over here. You have like you know one of those what do you call. Um, to customize the Google Now launcher and all that, uh, you can use the dark theme. You can use disable at a glance, or you can just have a colored Google logo instead of the white Google logo. If I find any issues with this custom ROM later on in my review video for this custom ROM, um, around at the end of this week, uh, or maybe within two to three days, because I have already been using this for two days and I didn't find much issues, so I think it's quite fine. But it's quite better i'd say better than the lineage os 15 uh but still i would review this one and i will say each and every details that i didn't tell in this video and if there's any issue i've been facing with it or like you know regarding anything over here so i hope you guys got to learn something or like just see a brand new customer over here and if you guys did like this custom rom you can go and download it from the description below and if you enjoyed my explanation and everything please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and bye bye